Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for another mod showcase, and yes, it's been a while, I know, because I've been meaning to post this up ages ago, well, not ages ago, but about a week ago, but you know, gotta get the work done, haven't I? And yes, we have five beauties to go through here, more Dinosaur King skins, some of which are repeats, because in case you don't know, I did lose all my mods, which is sucks, ah, it really d did, but I'm slowly rebuilding my numbers back up. And hopefully soon, we'll do a battle royale. And I also have a battle royale planned, where we'll have just we'll have the dinosaur king dinosaurs plus all the other normal dinosaurs and all the new species that I actually like to download. And an interesting thing is I've modified all the stats for all the dinosaurs. So hopefully we won't have too many OP ones like the buddy in Spindoraptor, which has like 20 more stats than buddy Indominus Rex. All, all the freaking Ceralosaur with insane poison and like loads of attack and defense. Stuff like that. But anyway, enough jabbering about that. Let's go up, let's get on with our showcase. And yes. Oh no, no. We have five beauties, including the one that was leaked at the end of the last video. Hope you enjoyed that. But yeah, all these are actually new species. So we are going to start with Gorgosaurus. the Gorgosaurus from the uh, Arcane game. But yes, this is Gorgosaurus. The skin <coughs> was made by moi. And kind of little awkward doing all these little squibbles and then the darker blue texture on top. And it's going to capture mode. Quick, before he goes into the forest. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. And I posted it on Discord and everyone seemed to love it. And everyone loves my skin, so yeah. Definitely did a good job on it. Uh, yeah, I should also give a shout out to Dino Nerd, who actually helped me make it into a new species, because for whatever reason, I couldn't do it. So yes, I, 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 I thank him for that. But yeah, that's Gorgosaurus. Alright, next we shall do the Mapusaurus. And yes, I did do Mapusaurus before, but this time it's a new species. have our Mapusaurus, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, like um, the, the issue I had before with my first Mapusaurus, I had to use a different texture. So this texture is the Arid Pan. And as you can see here, the underbelly does look a bit weird. You know, I'm pretty sure the underbelly doesn't look like that. But other than that, the body in particular looks looks pretty much spot on. And, and the patterning as well. And the head here, and well, I don't know why it has red nostrils, but you know, can't be perfect, can it? And yeah, the spikes look pretty good. Yeah, I'm really happy with this Mapusaurus. Ma I always found that Mapusaurus was one of my best mods. And I still I still st stick with that. I, I think I did a really good job on it. So yeah, that is Mapusaurus, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, now uh, we'll do Sorophagonax. Yes, we have a Sorophagonax, and this is obviously an Allosaurus model. And you you, you do realise, Sorophagonax was actually my first mod I made. But again, like I said earlier, I lost all my mods, so I had to remake it. And I think I did a really good job on it. I definitely did, like, improved on things that was kind of wrong in my first model, but... I also edited the model a bit so it looks a lot thicker than the actual Allosaurus model, as you can see here. So, make it more Sorophagonax-like. Make it look like it's bigger than Allosaurus. And I think I increased its size a little bit, but, you know, I don't want to play around with its size too much, because then it gets all buggy with the animations and such. And we don't want that, do we? No, sir. But, yep, yeah, that is Sorophagonax. 
And an interesting thing with the stats, I actually gained a really high attack. This is because the Sorofagonax in the arcade game is super attack type, so it has loads of attack, and that's just to symbolise that. Just an interesting fact there. Now, most of the stats for these dinosaurs are based on, you know, their arcade counterparts and how good they are, what battle types they are, stuff like that. Alright, now for the one that's still a work in progress, but I wanted to release it anyway, the Mega Raptor. And he probably won't be in the thumbnail because, again, he's a work in progress. Um, yeah, I, tr I tried to make a paleo-accurate Megaraptor and blend it in with the quills that the Dinosaur King one has, but... Um, as you can see, the quills are kind of broken, and yeah, I'm I am getting them fixed, don't worry. It, it requires weight painting, and I, I, I don't know anything about it. And I also need to fix the teeth at the front, because it has none. But yeah, other than that, that's the Megaraptor for you ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me thin the model out. So as I said, it's a work in progress. But it'll look a lot better when it's finished, I assure you. And, and the quills won't just float like that. They'll be weight painted, they'll be fixed. You know, it'll all be fine. Alright. Now, for the one I've been looking forward to. And the one you're probably thinking, what the bloody hell is that thing? Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Mega Faganax. Oh, don't that look awesome? Yes, this is the first ever Dinosaur King style hybrid, the Mega Faganax. And it looks bloody awesome. I mean, I do need to fix the quills again. Again, with the Mega Raptor, the quills need to be weight painted so they don't fade through the mouth, like you saw there with the rod. And, well, I'll probably remove these humps as well because I don't think it needs it. But, yeah, that is the Mega Faganax. And as you can see, I tried. I try to make the pattern the same as the Sorofagonax, but a little bit different, and then add a bit of Mega Raptorness in it. So, an elongated skull here, which which is more Mega Raptor-like. The crests up here, which is mainly Sorofagonax. You got the spikes on the back, which Sorofagonax has, and the quills, which Mega Raptor has, and the elongated claw, which Mega Raptor also has, and the and the bulk size that the Sorofagonax has. So yeah, that is Mega Faganax. And it looks an absolute beast. Oosh. And yeah, I was actually just thinking to myself, you know, what can I do differently? You know, what? how can I do something different that no one else has done before? And I thought, yeah, yeah, do a hybrid. I don't think anyone's ever done a Dinosaur King hybrid before. And yes, this will be the first of many. Of course, I won't do another one in the next showcase. It'll be... A while till I do another hybrid. I mean, I'm working on one. I got, I got one in progress, but you know, that's not going to be out for a while. And I do need to top off some of these mods as well. So, yeah. But that is all of my mods. But there's no way to end let yet. Let's have them fight. Ooh, what have we got here? Oh, it's a mega, it's a mega Faganax against a Zoro Faganax. Ooh, and a Mapusaurus taking on Mega Raptor. Now, getting faster. Oh, which one's gonna win? Which magma blaster is stronger? <coughs> um, I think the Mega Faganax won. Yes, what are your stats, my friend? 125 attack and 27 defense. Playing. 112 attack and 26 defense. Oh, yeah, Mega Faganax is way stronger. Uh, who went out of this fight? Um, Makusaurus, because you have 100 attack and 38 defense. Playing 95 attack and 35 defense, and yeah, that quill looks bloody awful, doesn't it? I mean, it looks all right up here. It's by here where it all goes to pieces. But yeah, hopefully we'll get that fixed. Not by me, because I don't know what I'm doing. Well, half the time I make these moles, I don't know what I'm doing. 
Okay, yes, we've also released Torvosaurus, Megalosaurus, and Allosaurus Atrox. And yes, you can see what I did to the stats here for the Allosaurus. I completely nerfed it because it's way too powerful. So instead of having 107 attack, it now has 99 attack. But I buffed this defense a little bit. Because Allosaurus shouldn't be that powerful. I mean, it's good, but it shouldn't be too... It shouldn't, it shouldn't have better stats than a T-Rex. Come on, kid, get real. Uh, Torvosaurus, what are your stats, my friend? 95 attack, 44 defense. Ah, oh, you might be so sleeping. Hang on, we got a fight between Torvosaurus and Allosaurus Atrox. Ooh, we saw this in the in the first mod showcase of the year. Yum. Oh wow, Allosaurus getting two bites off in a row. Actually, on the topic of Allosaurus Atrox, there is now a way we can add our own. Hang on, oh, it'll be better when I explain it and show it. So we'll wait for this fight and then I'll explain. It. But yes, the Allosaurus Atrox getting hit with that magma blast today. Ooh, ooh, hang on. Oh, I kind of want to watch that as well. Okay, we're watching the background. The Mega Faganax taking on Magnusaurus. Oh, is Magnusaurus dead? Is Magma Storm too powerful? <laughs> yeah, I did it. Because Mega Faganax is a combo of wind and fire, so it has fusion moves. So it has, instead of Magma Blast, it has Magma Storm. Okay, these two call the quits. 32%, 37, so the Torvosaurus would have won. Right, are you going to let me go through it now? So yeah, with with regards to the Allosaurus Atrox, I can actually, we can actually, I don't know how to do it, but... We can actually add our own cosmetic. And that cosmetic can use a different model. Well, it has to be the Allosaurus model, I'm assuming. But you can edit that model. So it's kind of like with the, um... With the T-Rex, we... No. Where you have the um, 1993 Rex. Which is a different model. Oh, hang on. There's a fight between Zorofaganax and Megaraptor. And oh yeah, Zorofaganax won. And oh, it just pulverized that car. Well, it should win. It's got way better stats than Megaraptor. Way too powerful. But our poor Megaraptor, he never wins. It sucks to be you, Sunshine. Ooh, here we go. I think these two are going to finish each other off because it's a fight between Gorgosaurus and Mabusaurus. Uh, I'll go this side so we can see them. I wonder which one's going to finish each other off. Oh, Gorgosaurus gets the first hit. But Mabusaurus is not beaten yet. Oh my god, Gorgosaurus got off another hit? Oh, oh, Mabusaurus is dead. <laughs> Wow, the Gorgosaurus, mightily impressive there. I mean, it doesn't have a signature move because it wasn't in the game, so we can't have an animated move. But what we can have is the Gorgosaurus playing the Smackdown on Magusaurus. You did it, buddy! Oh, hang on, there's another fight, is there? Oh, is Mega Faganax taking on Allosaurus Atrox? And I think Mega Faganax is going to win because it's got way more health than the Allosaurus. Although, the Allosaurus does get a hit. Can it finish it here? Nope. But yeah, Mega Faganax. Ooh, Megalosaurus against Torbosaurus. This could be interesting. Uh, 28% playing 22%. I think the Torbosaurus might win here. Oh, I think they've met the Megaraptor and Sorofaganax squaring off. Yum! Yep, the Megalosaurus has bit the dust. No match for that Magma Blaster there. Yum! Alright, how are you two getting on? Oh, oh, well, Megaraptor's gone. No, the Jet Shuriken. No match for that Magma Blaster. Rip Megaraptor. Rip Megaraptor in the chat. The Zero Fagonax is too powerful. 
Oh, 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 you got your pen here. Yeah. Oh, the mega faggot is coming over. So we got Machisaurus dead, Snegoraptor dead, and Megalosaurus dead. All the ends are dead. <laughs> that doesn't bode well for Mega Faganax. Who has the most health actually? Gorg oh, Gorgosaurus, he has 65%. He'll got here, and I'm on a minute. Oh my god, Mega Faganax is gonna die? Oh my god, the Gorgosaurus is gonna kill it? Yeah. Oh my god, Gorgosaurus! I think Gorgosaurus is gonna win out of this lot. That's another fight, it's got more health than any of them. And the mighty Mega Faganax. Oh, it's bit the dust. Gorgosaurus. Killing the Mega Faganax. No. Right, I'm gonna have to buff the Mega Faganax so it's a bit more pain. No, you're dead. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's one of the quills phasing through the bloody neck. Wow. Yeah, I think Gorgosaurus is actually gonna win out of this lot because it's got way more health than these two. Wait, what? Oh! When did this happen? Um, well, apparently the Allosaurus Atrox killed the Sorophagonax. I don't know when that happened, but oh well. Ooh, ooh, hang on. We got a fight between these two again? Yes, we do. We have a fight between the Torvosaurus and the Allosaurus Atrox. I think Gorgosaurus is gonna win. Look at him over there. He's like, yes, I will finish them both. <laughs> I'm going to kill them both. Um, I think these two are on relatively the same health. So I don't know who's going to win. Ooh, Torvosaurus gets a bit. Um, what can Allosaurus have to a signature move be? It could be biting weight. I mean, it should be biting weight really, because all of its power is in the crap. And uh, despite that, the Torvosaurus has taken out Allosaurus Atrox. Oh, and the Gorgosaurus is just sleeping over there. Are you proud of yourself? You killed your relative. Oh yeah, Gorgosaurus is on 100 while Torvosaurus is on 32, so... I'm gonna say out of that, the Gorgosaurus won. How many did he kill? Oh, he oh yeah, he killed the Mega Faconax and he killed the Mapusaurus. How many kills have you got? Oh, you got two of them. But yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste you guys' time with seeing these two waiting for these two the bloody fight. So yeah, that is the end of this mod showcase. So I hope you enjoyed it. It definitely seemed like a good one. If you did, please leave a like and please leave a comment down below if you would like to see more Dinosaur King hybrids, because I have plenty of ideas in my mind. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.